This is a Snark SN2 chromatic tuner. It's a low cost clip on tuner typically used for a guitar. And in this video, I'm going to show how you can make a simple mod to the tuner so that you can plug it into a standard 3.5 millimeter jack. First step is to disassemble the tuner. Basically remove the uh, clip on and then undo the, the screw and carefully pry the, the two pieces apart. Once inside, you'll see that there's two clips that push up against a piezo sensor and that's where we're going to tap into the tuner. Since it's used to a piezo signal, it's it, you can put a really hot signal in without worrying about damaging it. I've had up to 20 volts peak to peak and haven't seen any problems. So what I'm going to do is attach a 3.5 millimeter plug to a flexi hose, basically a, a piece of hose scavenged off of a USB mini light. And um, so here I'm going to solder it down to the the strain relief and then add some wire to make the connections. Um, the first one I made, I used 24 gauge wire and it worked okay, but it got a little cramped on the inside of the tuner. So here I'm using some small wire wrap wire and that was a little bit easier to work with. And now we're going to attach the flex tube over to the back shell piece of the uh, of the tuner. There's a little grommet you have to pop out that's in there. To keep it secure, I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue. You want to use a real small amount, otherwise it might leak into it and make it hard to, to fit the unit back together. And keep the wires really close to the back shell of the tuner. And I'm going to put a, a little heat shrink tubing on as well. This is some real thick stuff that has the adhesive glue on the inside, so it, it holds it really well. And then finally, we're ready to trim the wires up and solder them into the, into the tuner. So here's the picture again, ground and SIG. Uh, the tip is going to SIG and the sleeve is going to the ground. I'm going to trim them short so that they don't bump up against the piezo sensor that's inside. And then uh, simply solder them up in place and reassemble the conductive uh, button, rubber button that's on the back and put the unit back together and and slap the battery in and it's uh good to give it a go anyway thanks for watching